today we're in the Bywater neighborhood at Studio B to meet Brandon B. Mike Odom, an amazing visual artist from right here in New Orleans. When you see something like that on an outside of a building, you definitely want to get inside and see what's happening. So come on, let's check it out. Peace, my name is Brandon B. Mike Odom, and I like to think that I put a little paint where it ain't, you know? Being in the middle of abandoned spaces, and I would notice graffiti and street art everywhere. I would go back in these spaces and thinking, okay, I'm gonna do something too. But I started painting things that was important to me, people who were important to me. Like the very first thing I did was this Malcolm X painting right here. I didn't think anybody would see it, but it turned into this organic underground project where I would go back there all the time. And then I would see people with their cameras walking around. And then I saw schools with field trips. And I was like, what's going on? People started to pay attention. And you know, it was like a conversation. The more I talked, the more people listened. The more they listened, the more I wanted to talk. And I kept painting, kept growing, and here I am now. I would say Studio B is a non-traditional art space. Uh, it was an empty warehouse, 35,000 square feet, that I was given the opportunity to transform into my first solo show as an artist. So it's a space that allows large-scale murals, all done with spray paint, uh, to exist on wall after wall. And it all tells a story of just what it means to be human. The social justice aspect of the space, how would you verbalize that? I mean, I just look at it as a responsibility, you know. As an artist, as an image creator, it was always about how do you educate, inspire, agitate, you know what I mean? Like, that's what art was always supposed to do. And this is my small contribution to that legacy, you know. Art has always been used throughout history to do more than just speak for the behalf of the artist. This James Baldwin piece right here, he said artists are here to disturb the peace. I remember, you know, doing a tour and talking to some kids afterwards and, and they're being so excited about a particular painting and I was like, why do you like this one so much? And they were like, oh, because it looks like me. And I remember never having that experience growing up in the art spaces, visual art spaces. Yes, there's the large paintings of Dr. King, but there's also paintings of everyday people from New Orleans. Creating portraits has always been reserved for like the kings, queens, they're important people. So to be able to offer that to just an everyday person has always been like a gift that I can give. So it's exciting to be able to do that. The name of the show is Studio B. And all that means is like the idea of what it means to be, what it means to exist in the moment. And I think New Orleans more than any other city teaches you that so well. You know that every day is a magical day. We're not too forward thinking, we're not thinking too much about, you know, five years from now. We're thinking about how today is the most beautiful day. And that's why, you know, it's big easy. I'm just making your every day beautiful. B Mike's visual art is a new landmark in shaping what the city looks and feels like today. So come on down to the Bywater and check it out. For Go Nola TV, I'm Fresh Johnson. See you next time. <laughs>